Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. Well, today is Saturday, the 24th of February, 2024. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. So, I have a bit of news for you all. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look what I finished last night. I'll post a picture on it, uh, of it on the Facebook group. I finished this. Actually, I finished this about 3.30. And then I washed it. And, of course, it had to dry. And um, needs to be ironed yet. And... Uh, so, yes, so I am finished, finished, finished. Another one is in the can, yes. And you see over here, this is where I put my um, initials and the date. Kind of blends in there. Just wish I would have had an extra, just one extra line here so that I could... Uh, just come over one, but this is okay because it lines up with this one here and here. So, yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm so thrilled. I am so, 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 so very thrilled to have this one finished. So, yes, like I said, I will post a picture of it. I do have to use my snag nabbit here a bit. And um, push in some of these threads here. But yeah, so that's done. So then I decided, well, I'm going to get out my pandemic, right? I don't know how long I'm going to work on this, to be honest with you. I don't know if it this is worthy of... Continuing, I don't know. Because as I'm drawing, drawing these lines, oh my gosh, there's so many boo-boos. There's so many boo-boos. So, so, so many boo-boos. And even my lines don't match up. Because on the pattern itself, you can't really see the lines. And normally you have nice, like these ones here, darker lines. Right? So you know exactly where it is. Not on Long Dog. I don't know if they've changed it, but on Pandemic, they didn't really. There is a slightly darker line, but it's very, very slight. And um, you have to really look at it. So, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with this or... Am I going to work on a different one? I'm not sure. And this is the color I'm using, which is 115. This is not a... <clears throat> this is just a variegated. And I happen to like this because I love the color variation in this. But... <clears throat> Like, this doesn't match up here, and I don't know. These here don't, and I had it wrong up here for the numbers here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, if I can't figure this one out, I may just end up cutting this off and <clears throat> repurposing the fabric. Um, yeah, I don't know. And maybe I'll start it at a later date. I don't know. I'm not sure. So, just a minute here. Where's my needle now? Oh my goodness. It was working here. But now I don't know where I put my Probably fell out. Oh dear. 
Oh, no, there it is. Yeah. So I am working on Fantasy Teacup. And I'm at the very top up here. <clears throat> and let me see here. It was nice to put um, that bunch of floss drops away. And uh, it's so nice when you finish up a project. So like I said, I'm not sure yet. There's a couple of others that I'd like to start, but I don't I don't think I have enough. My fabric I don't think is big enough for it. And I calculated it out and I need a 49 by 74 centimeter for Angel of Healing, which I'd like to I would like to work on. <clears throat> I do have others that I have my working copies for enlarged and everything else. So I may just... I know I want to start Celtic Banner. I know I want to do that. But I... Uh, I need a big piece of fabric and then I um, I need to dye, um, dye it and I want to dye it like old parchment so I have to look it up there on the dye list on how to get it um, Oh my goodness, what am I doing? This is three strands. Ugh. So I was just so tickled pink when I did it. I wanted to have it all done so that I could show you what it looked like. And I used all my own colors for it. And I... Um, Yeah, it's uh, very nice. I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. And having um, gridded fabric makes a big difference. So, Yeah. So I I think I'm going to continue working on this for March's challenge. So February challenge is Fantasy February. No, Fantasy Fairy Tale February. And um and then for March the challenge is it's not easy being green. And next week I will tell you what's coming up for April. And I already have a project in mind for that. For me. It's a printed. So, come on. Come on. Get oh oh my gosh, come on. Get over there. Oh goodness. Okay, so that come on, go in here. And come on. There. Ooh. Ouch. Well, we're supposed to be getting snow tomorrow. There's a system rolling through. It's a very fast Alberta clipper. 
and at first they were calling for 10 to 15 here. Then they brought it down to 10 centimeters. And now it's down to five centimeters. And as far as I'm concerned, it can go right down to zero. <laughs> I know they need the snow. I know it. I know it. I know it. And I know I'm being selfish with it. I know that. And God forg forgive me for being so selfish. But I just want spring. Yesterday was cold. Oh my gosh, was it cold. And next week we're supposed to get some really cold days. I'm just praying for next Friday. Right now they're calling for minus 7 and cloudy. Which isn't bad. I'm just, well, no, I think they changed it to sunny. It keeps going from cloudy to sunny to cloudy to sunny. Sunny. So, six days, peeps. Six days. Yes, yes, yes. Six days. Yep. Hard to believe. Oh, yes. I was watching uh, Becky's Madness for Crafting. And because I am so cognizant of my, my driving, that I, um, <laughs> I notice... I notice um, errors that people do. <laughs> and so she drives around when she does her deliveries Monday to Friday of flowers. And um, the one thing I see that she does is, is a rolling stop. Yep. Yeah. The other thing I see that she does is... Because when you come from, say, a one lane and you're heading over where there's two lanes or three lanes going in the same direction, you're supposed to go into the closest one there and then move over. And I was thinking, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that on my test. And, but the other thing was that I found really shocking was that a cop had done the same thing. He just, he just went from like that and he went right over. He just went right over. Now, I'm not throwing stones here. I'm not. I'm just reflecting on, you know, for me there, what... I cannot do on my driving test. I know it's just habit, right? We get lazy. The longer we drive, the lazier we get. And I'm always one for using my turn signals, but some people aren't. And it's really... I know all of you probably use yours, but... <sighs> We've all been there. We're trying to um, go somewhere and somebody was coming and then they pull in. And you could have gone, right? And, I mean, it's just, yeah. Not good, not good. Not good. So, I'm just trying to be cognizant of what is going on around me. And uh, to remember the yield signs and 
stop signs. And Becky didn't do this, but the vehicle in front of her had done this. That it, I think there was a light there. And I think there was, or I know there was a stop sign. But anyway, the crosswalk was here. And this vehicle was sitting here. So there was a jogger who was coming and had to go behind the vehicle and over. Right? And that's something you shouldn't do. I mean, have you any of you seen... <laughs> they did this a lot, I think, in England or, or wherever. That there would be a crosswalk and a vehicle would be straddling the crosswalk or whatever. So people would come along and they would just climb up on top of the vehicle and come down the other side. I know it's not nice, but it makes a statement. I wouldn't want people going up on top of my vehicles, you know, and that. I know that, but... The person who is there, they learned their lesson because then they backed up. And, yeah. So. There's all these things that I need to remember. <clears throat> ah, shoot. And it's, he told me there, he said, it's not our knowledge of the road. It's, but I think it is. Well, you have to know, right, in what lane to go. You have to know um, when you come up to a railroad track that you slow down. And it doesn't mean you come to a stop. You just slow down, look both ways, and continue. How many times have we watched videos there where people there, they just ignore it. They just totally don't even look, and they cross the track, and there's a train. How do you, how do you miss a train with its light, lights on? And the bell ringing in that. Even if they don't have a crossing arm. You know, how, how, do, you, how do you miss that? And then they, they stand there and they go, well, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. And also in the city, you have to watch for that some of the stop lines are back further from the corner. So you may have uh, the, ins uh, the outside lane, which is up closer, and the inside lane, which is back further. And you need to come back further. Like, be there at that line. And that is because of trucks turning. Right? I think if if you see a truck that is, that you know is going to be making, well, speaking of trucks, there's a guy out here. Cattle hauler. And uh, sometimes they just check their log books and, I don't remember there was a cop there stopping. I can't. I didn't see anybody, but. Yeah. So, a lot to remember. I'm hoping, though, that he can. He can give me kind of an idea. Yeah. He must have some kind of an idea. 
how I did. Now he can say, in my opinion, I think you passed. But you did this, this, and this wrong. But the computer might register something different. So, so yeah. So I was up at 4.30 this morning. Oh, joy, oh, joy. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom so bad, but I laid in bed and laid in bed, and finally I couldn't I couldn't hack it anymore, and I got up. It's a good thing I did because I barely made it. Barely made it. Yeah. So I did when I I took a part of um, a couple of magazines and I the ones that were in the worst shape and I just took them took the patterns out. And that is Teddy Bear Christmas. I don't know where the picture is for that one. Maybe it's in this one. And there's the Scotty dogs. Like that. And there's that one. See, I like that, but I don't like these pale colors for those see like that I don't like the pale colors I don't like stockings anyways but this was too good to leave in there this one I like and this one I'm keeping for myself this is a Joan Elliott and this one is going to Gigi and then I have these window warmers I think, yeah. There's these ones. And, uh, and there's that one. And uh, that one. Anybody's into Egypt. Would like that one. Birds and berries. There's that one. Oops. And these are the alphabets. The snowman. There's that one with the hedgehogs. Sure, what there were these things. I don't know if they were, yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm not sure. So, was that? Oops, sorry. Yeah, so there's. There's quite a few there. The Joan Elliott ones I keep. Absolutely I do because I love her designs. And I've stitched many of her designs. So I never, I won't get rid of those ones for sure. So... So please remember that tomorrow there will be a live, okay? And that will be from 12 noon 
to 2.30 p.m. Yes, it's two and a half hours. Central Standard Time. And I really hope you'll all be there. Because it's it's always wonderful. I wish I could do a Zoom room where everybody could get on there. But I cannot afford it. It's just all we have or all I can get is 40. I think it's either 40 or 45 minutes free in a Zoom. Now I can do it, get out of it. And go right back, start a new one again. But no, I'm not doing that. It's just, no. I wish I could. I wish I could do that for you. But I just, no, I can't afford that. Because I think it's like, whatever it is there. 150 or $200 per year. To have it open. And I can't afford that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So. Oh, I was going to say, and I'll show this again tomorrow. I do have this design. It's a Teresa Wensler. It's a bell pull. It's got six flowers, boxes of flowers. I paid $44.97, so for $45, so about close to $50 with tax. And I think I'm going to sell this for $40. No, $25 I'll sell this for. And it will be minimum of $10 shipping. It depends on what it is. So if anybody's interested, I'll show this again tomorrow. And it's first come, first serve. Right? So if somebody wants that, see, it comes here with the fabric and the um, threads. This was a kit from quite a while ago. So, if you're interested in that one, $25 plus minimum $10 shipping. Like, to ship to the States is going to cost more. Oh, I guess that guy's got some kind of a problem. He's got a buddy there and a half ton out in front of him, so I don't know if he's got... I don't know if he's got a wheel seal that went. Or does he have a tire that went? Could have been a tire. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's got to be his wheel seal. His um, drive shaft. Something like that. He pulled the um, the the axle thing out, and um, well, so that's what he's doing. So. I don't think it's a drive shaft. I think it's the, um, must have been his axle, I think. That's, or whatever it is that goes through the, the tires. And, um, so I'm not sure. If he would have been right out front in here where I could really see him, it would, all would be good. All would be good. <laughs> I'm so nosy, I tell you. I'm so nosy. 
I am so nosy. Yes, I am. That's pathetic. <laughs> yeah. That's just unbelievable. <laughs> can't remember what it's called oh my gosh I know what it is it's but I can't get the name of it so I'm not sure what he's gonna do here yeah I'm not sure he's looking there I guess his wife was there too Oh, he must have, oh, well, he's got some kind of animals up in there because he was looking in there. I think maybe he's got pigs. I'm not sure. I can't see them, but yeah. I don't think it's a cattle hauler. I think it's more like pigs or something. So, yeah, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> that's enough excitement for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. And so does Miss Lilybell and Jonah. Yes. And, uh, yeah. So, um, there's also the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. And if you want to get in there, uh, to be accepted in there, you must give me the name of one of my two sidekicks. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. So, I hope you'll join me tomorrow for the live. And I will have, um, I will post a picture of my completed Firebird on the Facebook group. Yes, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer. I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, I guess that's it. And I hope and pray to see you tomorrow. Toodle-littles, everybody!